Alright, hello, hello and welcome back. And now we will continue our war effort against the fanatic zealots, evangelizing zealots. And yeah, basically, so we have fleets on their way to intercept that uh, their uh, main fleet, which actually backs backs away now. They pull back their fleets. So we will use this chance to regain our lost territory. Right, so this is a four three three fleet threat and uh, they have they are way more powerful than us. All we can do is just keep bombing them into submission. All right, so they're gone. So I'm gonna pull one one fleet back. The alpha fleet back. I'm gonna pull alpha fleet back, and gamma fleet will just clear the re regain the territory we've lost. Oh, this is a heavily fortified star fort. Right. So we've regained back our territory. Let's get back. Get my sectors, these sections. This is well, I guess. I think it's time to build some more offensive armies. Let's get this upgraded into a star hold. Right, the Kerishon threat is quickly, is not quickly, but it's slowly diminishing. Should be able to invade soon. That shouldn't be possible. I think that that they uh, that they managed to land their assault armies. That shouldn't be possible in this in 2.0. That's really really weird. Why is there this strange? Why why, why is this strange hole in here? It, it just, just... The, the the only possible thing that. Uh, why there is nothing uh, constructed here is the there's a good chance there's something here like um, a Leviathan, or maybe the Enigmatic Fortress looks like it that, that they couldn't capture. So this is uh, nobody captured this area yet. That 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 is the only reason I can think of. And fleet something. Oh, that's a seven k fleet. Alright, uh, that, that's a big fleet. And it's coming our way. Alright, so let's give it a proper greeting. Let's see, that's uh, cruisers. Yeah, plasma cruisers. Alright. Let's make give them a nice greeting here. We want to engage at close range, and this is the speciality of our fleet. And this is going to be an interesting battle. This is going to be a big battle. This is this is the this is probably the biggest fleet. There's a uh, some remnants here, one point one, I think. But this is just a small fleet. This is the bulk of the of the forces. So yeah, this is going to be a decisive uh, space battle. We don't need transports here. Let's get them. I have another uh, fleet on its way, but it's probably going to be late to the party. Yeah, here they come.
Right, so 7k versus 8k. Lots of ships swapping away. Hard to say who's who's. It looks like we're winning. Most of, and the ships are retreated. Right, so we lost only two destroyers, two corvettes, and two destroyers. Four destroyers, two corvettes, but we won this battle. And most of the damage was done by rail guns, large rail guns, flag battery, it seems. Oh no, that this is the QC. What am I looking at? Right, so auto cannons is doing most of the damage. Just, you can see how powerful it is. Um, damage to armor. Um, 4K. Damage to hull, 8K. Lots of damage absorbed by our armor. This was uh, done to counter their auto cannons and kinetic, kinetic uh, weaponry. That paid off. Plasma did only third of... Was only in the... Let's see, total damage. Plasma was second in damage, close to auto cannons. Uh, the reason is because uh, auto cannons, because we stacked so much armor, auto cannons damage was greatly reduced, so it almost matches plasma. And yep, basically that was a successful, a successful fight, pretty much a decisive one. I don't think they can, uh, well, they can come back from this, but um, we've caused some major casualties. Well, okay, this is. Let's hunt down this fleet with Gamma Fleet. Gamma Fleet is excellent fleet for chasing stuff, mostly because it's composed only of corvettes. Those corvettes are very, very quick, especially with the new afterburners we've put them. They have a speed of 267. That's like, look at this. So many modifiers. Let's say compared to enemy fleet speed, which is... 169 their corvettes. We are vastly faster than they are. Easily close uh, close uh, ground and catch them. Now we just need to bomb this. This is just annoying. Um, let's get some uh, more armies. Oh, 45 minutes. Right, you know what? We can do something else. This is just uh, taking too long. Let's say instead, go straight for the core system. This is likely defended. Capture this one. Capture those planets that are easily to, easy, easy to capture, and then come back for that planet. Okay, so we have naval logistic officer. Oh, this this is a great. Um, tech helps with naval capacity and increased ships. Ah, they just left the system. Those transports just left. We can actually come back and recapture it now. Not only that, but we can ambush them. If we can kill those pesky transport, that would be really good. They just. Oh, they just teleported away. That's perfect. Now we can finally take this planet. There we go. There's no escape. Look how fast our fleet is. We decided to engage the damn station instead of the enemy fleet. Effectively letting them run away. Nope. They decided they want to die. It works for us. Right, easy victory right there. Let's uh, might as well just grab some territory from them. Another large fleet. That's the surviving fleet from the previous engagement. Once we're done with this plant, we're going to advance. Hope out this. Map this. Map the stars edict. Just now it ran out. We don't need it anymore since we have nothing to explore, so... Perfect. Lost some soldiers though. Seven actually. Right, let's continue our push. 
those corvettes are badly damaged, we should actually send them in some repairs. Whoa, no, no. We should go repair here. Let's give them some. Actually, we can repair it at, at, uh, news, at the Star Forts we captured. We don't need to go uh, too far back. We can just repair them here in uh, Orlando Station, the one we just captured. So this is... Uh, I'm gonna do that. We really need to get some transports in more armies. Right, this is ours. So this is all. This plant is finally ours. It also has Batarian stone. Just notice the trend. Okay. Right, so let's attack this system. Zaglo, mostly just to catch their fleet. Where is it going? It's, it's going to attack Gamma fleet. And it's going to attack it. Right, it's going through the, to the home system, so we're going to need to intercept it. Before they get to our Gamma fleet, which is currently going to repair itself. That has been upgraded to Starhold, not yet. Man, it takes some, it takes like, lots, plenty of time to upgrade. Uh, right. That's the remaining fleet. Let's see if we make more numbers into them. Okay. Took some losses. That's because uh, we didn't repair the ships from the previous battle. This is why we took some losses now. But I should have uh, repaired them from battle to battle. This is important. Like I did with uh, with Gamma Fleet. Right. Let's. Let's send them to support our main invasion fleet. Gamma fleet is now refitted and ready. All right. So now it's about capturing their, again, the garrison, their entire army is here. This is really annoying. All right, so we need to make some repairs. Actually, once this station is, will get repaired. Yeah, it is repairing now. Should be able to repair actually right now. Perfect. Let's repair our fleets. We can force peace right now, but it would be nice to capture their <clears throat> it would be nice to capture their home planet. That would really make a big blow to them. Although th th this is really annoying that they can just carry some uh, fleets, in, in, th th this shouldn't be possible. Okay, so Meta Fleet has been repaired, Alpha Fleet is being repaired now. Done. Okay, let's capture this section then. Thing. Let's send Alpha and Beta. To keep clearing way, keep clearing this, uh, this high wall exhaustion. Yeah, I don't care. It's gonna leave Gamma here to keep bombing that. There's a spirit coming in, but this is no threat.
Well, they keep retreating, but eventually they will run out of places to run. And this is just a matter of time now. Let's uh, see if we can capture this planet. And they have lots of garrison armies. And this one has a FTL inhibitor. Whoa! Oh wow, okay. Okay, th this is a problem. This is a serious problem. You remember that trading fleet we got like warned about uh, um, some two, three episodes ago where well, it finally arrived. And this is going to give us some issues. Just came out of them nowhere. This is a 10k fleet. This with high tech weapons. Like, this is a problem. This is a problem. They're going to cause a lot of mayhem. Right, we now need to end this war with the zealots, whether we like it or not. But uh, we can't. We need to. We need to divert our attention. This is bad. Let's send off. Her. We got some territory out of them. But we now need to sign peace and uh, reinforce our fronts. This is terrible. That is uh, that is very bad. What the? Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, let's. I don't think I can defeat this pirate fleet. Wow, I did. I was really. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. They are cause, gonna cause some havoc. This is going to be a problem. So where are they heading? They're going to Gamma Colony. Where the hell is Gamma Colony? Is it? Is it? Gamma Colony? That's not my colony. Where the hell are they going? Okay, I have no idea where they're going, but they're going to cause a path. They're going to make a path of destruction now. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, this is going to be annoying. I don't think they moving to re region system. Where is region system? Let's see, region. There we go. No, this did. Gamma Colony, no, this is just the next destination. I have no idea where is Gamma Colony, but I don't think this is in, within my borders. Okay, so this is the... I don't think those, those models actually aimed at me. Okay, this is... <laughs> this is really weird. Okay, anyway, the good thing is... Um, although we didn't... Uh, didn't really accomplished our main goals at taking the home planet and I think we still made a good progress against the Zelots. First we cut into the territory, weakened their fleets, weakened their power. And the lessons for the next war is to come with a much bigger invasion force because their planets are heavily fortified as you, 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 as you saw. Lots of garrison which really turned this uh, invasion into a slugfest. So the next time we're gonna come prepared and those guys are just going to just make total chaos within my borders. All right, so we're gonna move our new our new staging grounds against the Zelots to Odranus or, or, or system. We're gonna upgrade at Starfort and just uh, make sure it can sustain it. Once I'm dealing with my orders, I will put some fleets here. We will continue our campaign against them. And seems that the fanatical marauders, uh, fanatical purifiers that were earlier on were declared, seems to be managing themselves pretty well. However, our fleets need to be reinforced. We took some, we took some losses, so we're gonna dog them. 
I don't think this pilot fleet is going for me even. It, 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 it's actually, what the hell, it's going right through all my, through all my territory, it's going to cause some, lots of damage. I have no idea where is Gamma Colony. I don't think I have anything called Gamma Colony, do I? Let's see. Flip. No, 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 Gamma Colony. Just a little bit of the mining station now. Just, just bother some. Right, let's reinforce this fleet. Pirate fleets are really well equipped, by the way. So there are no pushovers. They have a good mix of weapons. They have tier two auto cannons. They have rail guns, lasers. They have good variety of weapons. So it's not it's not that. Uh, it's not very easy to take them early on, um, especially a 10k fleet like this, which is just... Where are they going? They're going to two brick. Man, they're causing so much damage. Okay. Okay, so for the next one we want we need assembly plant. Actually no, the network junction is excellent. Fodder boost our um, unit income so we can get the supremacy going the supremacy tree going faster. Right. So that, that, that there is a lot of things. There's a lot of things to to rebuild here and they are uh, there's a high unrest as well. They can rebel. No, 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 no. This is so annoying. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh my god. Why are you here? This is, this is bad. Wow. I called both fleets to this station and the third one just went, whatever. I don't think we've lost, we were only lost three corvettes, luckily, most of them warped away. This is Drixter really saved the day now. I could, this could have ended much worse. This could have ended really bad, so, okay, three corvettes is not, not a big issue. Just hope they will get the hell away from the systems already. This is really annoying. They just look at this, you just wrecked so many stations, which we will now need to rebuild. Mm. Where's the nearest construction ship? All of them for some reason are at the south side. Let's pull some, some north. And... Reinforce our fleets. Now, the cruisers are done soon, but I have no economy to support them whatsoever. Especially not like this. Like, are, are they going the long way around, like on purpose or something? Just what the hell are they doing? Yeah, I think they went for me, they're just trading my stuff. God damn it. Man, this is annoying. And we are, have over 
too much influence let's see if we can spin it or something nothing you just click map to stars i guess i have nothing else to do with his influence yeah that caused massive damage that pirate raid really was just worst timing ever okay so for the next upgrades destroy your hold points is very important advanced rail guns mm, aren't really needed well we aren't really using them so let's go for destroy your hold points let's get some robotic pops here unbelievable God damn it, bastards. Oh, so there's Alpha Fleet. Are you done already? My God. No, build this station. I think this is the last station now. I I I really hope so though. So much economy damage. So much economy damage. Oh, we have some. Stuff to research which I completely forgot about, so let, let's let's do it. No, there's also some debris we can scan. I don't know why why, why I'm not doing that. Let's scan some debris. I think those guys had some invention uh, some technology. Yeah. Crystal entities. Not very interesting. Let's uh let's see if we can get, can get that translating trader the trader texts. Okay, okay, so now we have access to proton launchers, and this is a very powerful weapon. This is exactly what we're gonna get next. This is uh, very rare to get it so early. Um, this usually is a very late game tech, so we got extremely lucky by rolling this. Um, we're gonna use this opportunity. This is a very strong weapon. And it failed. God damn it. What a shame. That would have been a nice uh, bonus. But uh, nope. RNG says otherwise. Let's get this uh, researched. Get this out of the, out of the way. Okay, level capacity is not needed, so let's go for system conflux. And I guess we're gonna continue in the supremacy tree. Now, army damage would be nice actually because we're really lacking in that. Unrest is nice as well, it stacks with the unrest effect from uh, sync tree. And I think it would be wiser to go natural order because the third option we can unlock combat variable mitigation which boosts our fleet's power so we're gonna go with um, natural order first actually I think it will also reduce a bit the uh, unrest going on here this is the only planet we managed to capture from the zealots so the models are gone after causing some massive mayhem that we now need to to repair Lots of work to be done. We need to enforce our fleets. And yeah. Once we have we have repaired everything, reinforced our fleets, and we're gonna strike um, 
we're gonna stack the zealots again and just look at the robots they expanded further still has only four systems but uh, yeah managed to recover a bit and that's it for this episode so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one